<laughs> All right, guys, questions right. for George. George, how does it feel to present those season tickets to that young man? Oh, uh, I feel great just uh, knowing the challenge that he's going through. Uh, you know, everybody don't go through those challenges every day, so it's great to give him season tickets and, you know, make a day. What does it mean to you when you get to help other people, just like your celebrity status, you're a, you're a big name guy and people look up to you like that? Uh, it helps a lot. Uh, for me, it means a lot to me because all the attention always on me. So I love to always, you know, give back to people we know who don't have much attention to me and just put them in the same light. Does it feel a little surreal when you hear, you know, a kid is, you're a kid's favorite player, they, you know, want to meet you, like you're kind of one of the special things about them coming out here? Uh, Yeah, a little bit. Just uh, knowing my time here. I've only been here like three years. So for, uh, you know, fans, you know, PA, to make me their favorite player, that kind of does mean a lot to me. But do things like that make you grow as a leader, not just on the field, but off the field as well? Oh, yeah. You know, uh, just carrying yourself differently. I'll probably say it makes me, you know, carry myself way differently. Does it feel different for you, just this camp, you know, be just shouldering some of that responsibility? Uh, a little bit, but then again, not because, you know, I always lead by example. So uh, me and the guys, me and the receivers, you know, we're going to have fun just leading by example, making plays. Rome made a lot of plays today, you know, lean by example. So not too much, but it helps a lot for sure. George, what's it been like for you this offseason working with Russ? I mean, since he's been on the shelf the last couple of days, getting more work with Justin as this quarterback room is obviously completely different from last year. Uh, It's kind of nice. You know, uh, I threw with Russ in the OTAs and then training camp on with Justin. So I kind of got the feel of both of them now. Uh, they both, like I said, great guys. We just wait, you know, waiting to get Russ back. How much does it help to have this opportunity to build a rapport with Justin? Obviously, you don't want Russ to be sidelined, but is it kind of a silver lining to build that chemistry with him? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, even Kyle, even the third string guy, uh, really all the QBs, just to make sure you know they're on point. Uh, like I said, we waiting on Russ to get back, but uh, you know it's always like next man up mentality. With Deontay gone and, and like Allen Robinson gone too, do you you kind of the you see yourself as the leader of the wide receiver room now? Is it the way you see your role? Uh, me personally, like I said, I lead by example. I kind of let you know Coach Z, you know, still do his job and kind of lead the room. But uh, guys, for sure, I know naturally gonna follow me just by my play. What's your first impression of Coach Z working with him to start a game so far? Uh, he's a great guy. Uh, you know, high energy for sure. He looks like he's you know like you said the high energy, not afraid to kind of get in your face, that kind of thing. What is, what does a coaching style like that do for you? How does it help the wide receivers? Uh, I kind of had you know. Coach Smart, Kirby Smart is kind of like that. So uh, I kind of had a coach like that in college. So it's really no huge, huge change for me. That's just, uh, you know, Coach Z personality. You welcome that kind of challenge, though, when a, guy, when a coach does that for you? Uh, I just welcome him, period. It's not really, like I said, I had a coach like that before, so it's really not a challenge. George, what are you looking to improve on this year? Uh, really just making more plays. Uh, last year, made a lot of plays. Uh, <laughs> just trying to, you know, get the accolades that I deserve. First couple of days, it seemed like he had uh, Dante on you. What's that matchup been like going up against him? Uh, he's he's a great guy. Uh, Dante's a fast corner, you know, real fast corner. Uh, you know, he can play the ball. He it's, it's like you can never really run away from him because he's fast. But as far as uh, his skill set, super, super twitchy guy, too. Yeah. How much fun is it to see Calvin Austin, a guy you were drafted with? He obviously gets slowed down by injury, but he's had a lot of work here early on. What's it like to see him kind of step up into this role? Yeah, that's the, that's like the most proud guy I am, you know, right now because, you know, me and Cal came in together. Uh, like you said, injury. Now he's just thriving, you know what I mean? That's kind of like what I like to see. You know, me and Cal are, kind of, I mean, me and Cal are you know, kind of leading the room together. You know what I mean? So, yeah. What does he kind of? What role does he fill for this wide receiver group? Does he have something that you guys are lacking as a unit? Uh, not really. He's just a, uh, you know, a position filler. He can do everything. He's fast. He can play the outside. You know, he play outside at Memphis. Uh, he play inside. We motion him back and forth. You know, he's a, he's a position filler for sure. How rare is it to see a guy that's that size be able to do all of that? You know, split out wide, be in the slot, all of that. Versatile. Uh, that's why I was like, when when Kyle first got injured, you know, I was just kind of waiting. And that's why I said I'm kind of, you know, super, super, super proud of him now just to see him thrive. Yeah. Sure. With, the, with Deontay gone, how much do you welcome some of the, you know, double teams and help, you know, help over the top and just things like that that would be coming your way? Uh, when Deontay was here, uh, we were both in double teams. Sure. <laughs> so yeah. uh, it's really going to be the same treatment, to be honest. Uh, if you're a good player, coordinators and owners are going to double team. So, yeah. George, a lot of national and even local, like, media fans say to steal with you another wide receiver, trade for one, so, you know, whatever. It might be a big game. Does this, you guys need another receiver for, their, for your lineup? Uh, I don't even, to be honest, bro, I don't even know about any of that. I just come out here and just practice, you know what I mean? Uh, 
you know, I just kind of, like I said, try to lead the room. I'm kind of tapped in with, you know, all the new guys in the room trying to progress people. So I don't even really be seeing that. Anybody else? What's, what's what? Rowan Wilson like, uh, just as a guy who's learning? Is he asking you a lot of questions? How have you seen him growing as a rookie? Uh, yeah, a lot of questions, a lot of, you know, just, you know, when you're your rookie year, you're thinking about a lot. So yeah. not as much questions, but you can see his mind turning, like, you know what I mean? So uh, just, you know, guiding them in the right direction. Have you seen any of those guys kind of come to you, you know, leadership and kind of picking your brains for different things? Yeah, uh, a lot of the, uh, you know, older, older guys that's, you know, not first string, second string. A lot of those guys has kind of been on different teams. They kind of pick my brain because, you know, they've seen me do so well. Sure. So, yeah, those guys for sure. Uh, like I said, I want us, you know, us to be a great team, you know, Super Bowl bound, you know, just pushing, 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 pushing for the greatest. Uh, and that's really that's my main focus, just a team goal. You know what I mean? I always like I told you guys before, like I don't want to make it by myself. You feel me? So I just want the team to do great. Do you like where the new Do you like where the new offense is going? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, New offense, you know, just like I said, getting it down, learning. When we all learn it, we'll be rolling. Thanks, George. Right. Thanks. Thank you for checking out this content from Post Gazette Sports. If you watch this video on YouTube, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. For all of the sports coverage the Post Gazette has to offer, visit post-gazette.com.